So listen, I've got kind of a like a product company crush on Peak Design. Uh, I love everything they do. I use their everyday messenger bag. I think it's one of my favorite uh, messengers I've ever used. And uh, you can actually check out from way back when my first look at that bag. Um, but they just sent me this one of their newest bags. It's this cute little guy right here. It's the Everyday Sling 5, like 5. And if you look at the product brochure, the little thing that comes attached to it, it has different examples of uh, how this can be used. But specifically, the thing that caught my eye was that this is an ideal little bag for that guy right there. So I fly with a DJI Mavic Pro drone. Uh, I love it. And usually when I go out, especially around here in the kind of Lincoln, Nebraska area, it's somewhat single intent based, meaning if I take my drone, I'm going out to fly my drone to get video and shots with it. Uh, I'm not necessarily mixing things around like shooting a little bit and then flying a little bit. I do that when I'm traveling more, but here at home, I like to just kind of focus on one thing. And rather than have to pack a huge bag uh, for just this and a few small accessories, this kind of bag does the trick perfectly and it's a really, really nice bag. So what I want to do is uh, go over here to the overhead cam and I want to show you how I can pack this with the Mavic Pro and all the accoutrement that come with it. So let's check it out. All right, so this is what I'm primarily planning on using with my Peak Design Everyday Sling 5, which is right here. You can see in the pamphlet little kind of marketing thing that comes attached to it, right on the first flap, it shows that this was designed for Spark plus Mavic drones. So the Spark is even smaller than the Mavic Pro, but this is what I use. This is my favorite flying gear. And let me just quickly walk you through what's gonna go into this. So basically just going from the Mavic Pro clockwise, you've got the Mavic Pro drone, then you've got circular polarizers that I can slide onto the front lens element by Polar Pro. I have two replacement batteries. If you've ever flown drones, you know that you need extra batteries because they're good for about 25 minutes a pop. I have some replacement propellers because if you've ever seen me fly, you'll know why I need them. Then there is the controller, the flight sticks, um, and I have this really cool little accessory that I found on Etsy where uh, this 3D printed thing slides onto the thumb joysticks and it protects it during travel. And then finally, I have these little snap-on things that go onto the drone that add about an inch of clearance when the drone is sitting on the ground before takeoff. And that's a really nice thing. All right, so I'm gonna move this gear off to the side here and I will walk you through how I pack everything in. So here is the everyday uh, Sling 5. This is the new Sling and it's like more like a little pouch. Uh, you can either wrap it over your shoulder uh, across your shoulder or around your waist. Uh, really nice bag, a typical Peak Design. Little details, little kind of appointments here. Like, I love the way this joint kind of flexes. And then things like how you can adjust the strap. Just really, really nice. Like I said, a little clip over here if you wanna uh, unbuckle the strap and put it around your waist, you can do that very easily. Now, uh, just walking you through the bag, there's a front pocket here, um, which, and here's the thing I love about these bags, and I'll show you in a second, that even though the bag itself is black, the interior is lined with this really nice bright fabric and makes seeing much easier. So there's that pocket there. There's also a channel here. If you want to attach a capture clip, you can do that. So if you want to slide something on it, you can. I use my capture clip on every bag, so that's a nice little accessory, a little addition. And then the main compartment is accessible like this. And so here you go, Peak Design, the Everyday Sling 5L. And again, this was designed for, uh, you know, you can put a mirrorless camera and a lens or even probably a thinner DSLR if you remove some of the dividers. Uh, the dividers are this kind of origami style, so it can slide down and you can get these different compartments. So you can have something under there. Um, and then same thing with this divider it slides down as well. So the Mavic Pro will go in the center and there's actually, I would recommend a specific way of doing it. I would put it where the uh, the lens, the front of the camera is pointing upward, basically kind of like this. So here's the camera and then just kind of, or the drone and I'll just slide it in and push it down. And now you can see that even if I just close this right now, it closes perfectly. So 
that's good there. Now, so with the drone in there, I mean, I always like to travel with the protector, the little protector that comes with um, the drone. I take it off before flying as you should. Now the controller can go over here. Controller stays by itself. Then I take the two batteries, slide those in. Fit really nicely. The, the um, accessory that I was talking about that gives you more clearance, that's the very first thing that I put on uh, pretty much right away. So I just keep these right here. And that I just grab them out as soon as I take the drone out, I grab this stuff too. Uh, so it's just available. This pocket is really nice because it holds the spare propellers perfectly. So I just slide them in there in case I need them. And I have um, a full set just in case I need to replace all four sets of propellers, I can do that. And so here just perfectly closed. And then for the polarizers, which is over here, it fits really nicely in this pocket. So just open that up. And there we go. And so now I have this really small, compact, lightweight, and durable pouch that has my Mavic Pro, uh, the controller, my spare propellers, uh, all of my accessories, two batteries, and my polarizer filters. And remember, I mean, all you need to do is look here for kind of inspiration, and they have different examples of how you can use the Everyday Sling 5 to kind of pack a DSLR or mirrorless, um, or like I just did the Mavic Pro or the Spark by DJI. So hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions about this bag. I'll be happy to lend any opinions that I've got on it. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe if you love what you're seeing here, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot, everyone.